Hello, hello, hello. This is Holly with um, Movement Medicine and all of the amazing things that are moving in my world. As you can probably hear, I am recovering from uh, cold and laryngitis and some um, stuff going on, some transition going on in my feminine cycle. And instead of Resisting this time, I have used it to do what had been calling me anyways, which is to work my own intention setting workshop, um, which was more than just working the workshop, but really getting deep into my internal world and taking a look back at the last 10 years of my life, getting clear on where I have been intentional and where I haven't been as intentional and even seeing that even with that kind of half or less than half asked job of being intentional, um, I've created a lot and that's what some of this is. And actually I've gone back and done it for each of the last 10 years of the decade as well. Um, and so I just wanted to share a little bit of that in preparation for getting you all excited about the workshop, the 2020 workshop I'll be releasing online, um, setting the intention as long as uh, my voice returns, which I'm setting the intention at will by this next week before I head back out to California um, to at least get it all filmed and then up by the week of Christmas. So that is my intention, giving myself a lot of space and permission um, just to continue being and allowing myself to be drawn internally. It's been an amazing time and um, just really having um, the joy of doing a lot of self-talk, knowing that financially I'll be okay during this time, that I've actually created this time because I saw it, the need for it a couple years ago, as um, I could tell my cycle was changing, I would need more time to be internal and really do a lot of letting go. Um, and the end of the year is perfect for that. So I wanted to quickly walk you through an exercise that um, is very similar to a lot of the exercises out there. It's just a different version that I've created for myself um, that I saw as something that would be just physically impactful for me to let go of a few of the lingering belief systems that I'm calling the Titanic heading towards the iceberg over here on the left hand side <clears throat> so that I could have just this physical manifestation of writing something down. I'm a kinesthetic learner so that's really important to me but I also think it's super important to the universe because we are embodied souls to energetically clear old shit coming out. Um, and I'm going to tell you about more of the process here in a second and to be able to um, embody that through ritual or through just um, an act of a, a movement medicine, if you will. So what I've done over here on the left is I have a couple different letting go pieces of paper. This one's more centered on business and romance. And then this one's more centered on the ideas around uh, being in a female body in this culture and being in um, a body that's evolving and transitioning into the next phase. And you'll hear that I don't even use the process of aging because I don't want to connect myself, even as I'm talking about letting go of it um, into that vortex, into that Titanic that is sinking. Um, and then over here on the right, I've done a couple different things. I've done one to counter, to be the contrast of the letting go of the attraction, what am I intending? That a lot of it came from the workshop that I was doing. What am I intending? What do I want to attract? Um, and, and just to even have positive self-talk, some of the ideas from both of these is that in my new um, calendar for the year, and yes, I did get a pen and paper calendar uh, planner for the year so that I could, again, have that embodied experience of not just doing it on my phone, but being able to write it out and put these quotes inside of my inside of my calendar so that I can see them and be reminded of them, be reminded of the things that I'm calling in and the, the ways that I want to make an impact in my own life first and foremost. But also in your life, if you're watching this, whether or not you are a client or a dancer or a friend or a stranger, um, someone I have yet to meet through the internet world. So... Um, again, writing down the belief systems that are still lingering in my mental constructs that I know are not serving me, using that as the contrast to write down beautiful things that I am calling in. And here's the important step, not just writing it down on autopilot, but feeling it, 
feeling it, maybe even getting to a point in a sentence where you stop, pause, feel it, embody it, get up and move, put the music on and move to it, or take these pieces of paper into your dance spaces with you and move with them. Feel it. The language of the universe is not these written things, but it's the energy of our emotions, the e energy in motion that speaks to the universe. So these are just the the manifestations of that energy. It's not about the pieces of paper as much as the energy that goes behind the pieces of paper. And that's why I even uh, got more creative, got my chalks out, and I will have those at dance the next couple of weeks for you to play with. Um, got, you know, into images that I wanted to bring in for this new year. Um, so the thought is that I will bring these personally to our solstice dance next week if you're here in the Nashville area for ecstatic dance. And we're going to have a beautiful ceremony where we're going to let these go. I'm not going to tell you what that's going to look like. I want you to show up and experience it firsthand for yourself. But if you want to do some of the clearing beforehand, know that you can be writing things down and bring them into dance next Thursday. Um, and then writing down the positive things that you're bringing in and getting creative with that. How do you want to bring those positive emotions into your next year? And all of this, again, goes back to the 2020 intention setting workshop that I'll be releasing for you all to partake and enjoy in. It might be something that you take a month to do because it's actually going to look back on 2019, but also the last decade, as well as looking forward to what you're intending for the next decade. Um, and again, it's not something to rush through, but something that my new phase of life is encouraging me to do is to slow down and really feel. And so I'm going to be bringing that into all of this for you all and encouraging you to do the same thing. All right. Red tent sisterhood of the red tent. If you want to know what I wrote to help, um, bring in a new energy vibe where the Titanic gets to continue to, to sail on towards America instead of sinking, um, do you come to our red tent next Monday, the 16th, 5:30 at my house? You can ping me for details. Would love to have you there. We are um, limiting that circle to be a container of 13 women total, including me as a powerful number for the feminine. Um, and if you're not of the female sort, then definitely join us at our dances if you can. And if you're not here in the Nashville area, take these ideas into your dances or into wherever you practice your esoterical, spiritual, energetic things that you do in your life. So much love. Oh, one more note is um, one of the things that really came up for me is that I am dedicating these first three months at least to write my new book, Death is Life, which is incorporating all of these type of things into it, rewriting the story of death in our culture to understand that it is really just um, the same. It's a transition point for life. And without death, we don't have um, more life. We actually have destruction of life. And so stay tuned for more Death is Life coming up in 2020. Oh, that's so sexy. All right. So excited to see you all soon. Bye.